hi guys welcome back to my channel so we're gonna do another pick a card reading today and this time it's going to be um what of your personal powers have you been sleeping on and ways in which you may be able to awaken them okay so um please remember this is a general reading it may not resonate for all of you just take what does and leave the rest or pick another pile um we've got three different stones <laughs> got pile one will be moonstone pile two for pink howlite and pile three will be bloodstone if you'd like to book a more personal reading you can find my details down below so pile one those of you that chose the moonstone let's see what comes up for you I'm hearing something about um, aggression and I'm feeling Aries energy really strongly We've got the 12th house, the 5th house, we have Cancer, this could be, I'm getting like conflicting energies, so it could be someone that has a lot of fire but also a lot of water in their chart, so you may often feel um quite conflicted when it comes to the way that you express yourself and i feel like there's a there's a creative talent that's being slept on for this group we have the beggar confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival awakens the spiritual authority of humility sorry humility compassion and self-esteem yeah really strong empathy coming through we have companion loyalty tenacity and unselfishness and we have child orphan independence based on learning to go it alone conquering fear of surviving there's some strong um there's some very strong abandonment issues that are coming through with this group and it feels like hyper independence so it could be that what you're what you are sleeping out on is like your own ability to be vulnerable and to be soft to be sensitive you may be viewed as very like hard-headed or stubborn and it's not necessarily that that is a bad thing but i feel like the power you you are being called to invoke is surrounding more softness and more fragility okay Let's see part one and there's definitely something to do with creative self-expression mm -hmm. queen of wands remember i said to you there's some sort of angry energy we've got the king of swords and we have the ten of wands you need to find a way to release what you're feeling it's almost like you feel that something is missing and i feel like this comes because it's like you're it's like you're healing or you're on a journey of healing but you can only go so far because you're not fully cracking open to what needs to be fixed and the parts of you that still feel this sort of void And I, I have to say, I feel like some of you are prone to projecting some sort of anger or frustration because there isn't a clear channel to let it out. This could stem from like an aggressive or angry father figure. But yeah, I'm feeling like there's a creative suppression that is really needing to be pulled through. Okay, For some of you, it could be that you need to sit and like be with your emotions have a good cry process things like i feel as though you're avoiding you're avoiding parts of yourself through fear and again i'm getting like hyper independence because you've always had to fend for yourself you could also um be prone to like like being strung along by people or believing in a lot of like false hope and i feel like you're being called upon to recognize red flags 
recognise red flags when it comes to love. Maybe it's the accumulation of past failed relationships or past pain that is causing blockages in a love channel. Yeah, we've got the Empress card here. And it's funny because I feel like you see how worthy you are of these blessings that are coming into your life. But it's almost like you put up this guard as if everything's destined to fail because of what you've been through in the past. I'm hearing that one of your powers is that you need to read between the lines. That's one of the powers you're sleeping on. And I do feel like there's a real strong avoidance of self-reflection here. And I feel like a lot of people who have picked this power are probably going to be in denial of this. I've got to be honest. But you're not going to heal any further unless you're willing to really pick yourself apart and find these depths of yourself that need room to bloom because you're a beautiful person you've got all of this amazing energy within you but it needs a clear channel to be pushed through if that makes sense yeah see queen of swords in reverse like there's anger there's pent up frustration and aggression for some of you it may be worthwhile speaking to someone or seeking some therapy or some guidance on how to clear these channels and I feel like a lot of it stems from the past and maybe, yeah, Three of Wands being made to feel as though you weren't good enough or you was always an issue. And I feel like this comes from a parental or authoritative figure. I'm also hearing teacher for some, like this could even be surrounding bullying. I've got real strong cancer energy. Two of Pentacles, I feel like in the past there was a lot of self-doubt. And even though you've changed a lot and you've grown a lot, there are still these kind of, I hate this expression, but I'm hearing like a chip on your shoulder and it's kind of like this resentment, these final shreds of resentment need to be let go to put you in your full power. Because I feel like you've done really well. This isn't to say that you haven't been doing well on your healing journey, it's just that there's new parts that are, I'm hearing going to be recycled, so things that are going to be brought back up and it's up to you whether they bring you down continue to bring you down or if you turn them into some sort of um power or magic okay like you need to recognize that you are in control of your own life and that no matter of what past hurts and pain you've been through you've made it this far and you will continue like you are a warrior but you need to be you need to take a slightly softer approach and you need to lead with more love in your heart when it comes to yourself and this avoidance and open up to being more vulnerable. And again, I feel like this can be through creative expression. Like, just dive into it. You've got to dive into your emotions. This is the power that I feel like you've been sleeping on because even though it may be something you're scared of doing and something that you've been resisting, yeah, see with the star card, it unearths like this whole change and this whole transformation. And for some of you, when you start opening up about the issues that you've been through or things that pain that you're still holding on to, you're actually going to help other people. This, for me, the overall energy kind of feels like dark empathy. So you've got empaths and obviously the dark empaths where a dark empath still carries a lot of pain and can use their gifts to kind of... Um, not to manipulate people, but to make people feel sorry for them. And I feel like if you just opened up this door of vulnerability, you actually have the power to really bring about change. Because right now, where this channel isn't clear, you're just draining yourself. And you could be draining some people around you as well. So I feel like the power you have been sleeping on is your, is your empathy, is your vulnerability, is your ability to stay soft. It's not something to be shameful of. It's something for you to embrace. There's so much growth that's coming in for you. In terms of signs, I've got strong cancer. I've got strong water entirely, to be honest. I've got Aquarius, I've got Aries, I've got Aries, Leo, Sag. I mean, it could be any sign, but predominantly strong water, strong fire and Aquarius as well. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, that's a lot of signs and initials, but we'll go with it. I can already see Aquarius and Aries. <laughs> um, Okay. Yeah, some of you have felt like a black sheep in a family or in a family dynamic, like nothing you ever did was right or you always, like people were always gunning for you. Um, I've got real strong water energy here. I'm hearing that saying like when life gives you lemons, like what do you turn it into? Do you make yourself bitter or do you make yourself sweet? And there's something about concocting, like concocting, ah, concocting stories. Like, so you could have been for a stage where people would say things about you that weren't true or like um, making up lies about you or I'm hearing creating a false narrative. Okay. This is really random, but I'm getting a message about custard as well. Like someone could really like custard or they could be like a recipe surrounding Custard, there's something to do with custard. Custard, I don't know, but yeah. Um, we've got selenite, the need for cleansing, and then we have this star like you're sleeping on the power that you have to heal other people with your own stories. Okay, we've got Cancer, we've got Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries and Taurus again we have J M K H J S B K T F K A W L O U someone's name could actually be Lou or Louise or Louis Louis we've got C P B G E Q F T A W L M A B there could be something surrounding springtime someone's birthday or something about a lamb We've got D H I I Q J K J F J V M N. And that's what I have for you, part one. Hi, part two. So, for those of you who chose the pink highlight, let's see what comes through for you guys. I'm already picking up on strength. Like a real lot of strength, but I'm also getting really strong femininity. Pisces energy. Libra, Taurus. Yeah. Wow. Loads of uh, God, and, God and Goddess energy. Got Leo at the bottom of the deck. I'm picking up on someone that is able to really hone in on their feminine and masculine energies like you have that balance of the two you have that internal yin yang and you could be using this power to manifest more money i feel like this group are the natural manifestors i've got capricorn energy coming through as well yeah we've got the gambler willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you Sagittarius energy as well this is going to be a popular group we've got a seeker, thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are and we have femme fatale, highlights the erotic energy of the feminine, opens your heart when your dependency is rejected for some of you the power that you are sleeping on is like your dark femininity or the way that you carry yourself and how you could use it to benefit your path forward okay some of you could have a back tattoo. We've got High Priestess. So very intuitive, even psychic, healer energy. Um, but yeah, I feel as though there's you're cultivating like a whole new life. Or this is something that you've been sleeping on. Queen of Cups in reverse. You may feel confused at the moment. Or your intuition may be clouded on how you can give birth to a new project. And actually, the power that you're sleeping on is kind of like, I'm getting that, like, Jupiter energy of, like, you're sleeping on the power of your own good luck and good fortune. 
and you're being too cautious about things i feel like there's an energy you're needing to i feel even the sagittarius energy that's coming through it it may not be that you are a sag you could be but i feel like this is the energy that spirit is trying to push you into and that could come around the new full moon on the 14th take more risks that you're sleeping on your own good luck you're sleeping on your own good fortune you don't see how lucky you are because you're not taking enough risks you need to learn to release some control and i feel that sometimes you let your emotions dictate everything to you which is not always you know a bad thing we've got strength here as i said right in the get-go strong libra energy strong leo energy and i feel like there's a lot of you that are super beautiful and you get pulled down by like your size or your weight or your image and it's almost like you feel that you're less worthy than someone else it's kind of like oh if i was if i was thinner or if i was this if my hair was longer or if i was i don't know just like if my boobs were bigger if i had a bigger bum like there's this whole tearing apart of who you are and you're sleeping on your own power when it comes to like how attractive and how magnetic you are like you have this magnetic power all around you that is so fierce and i'm getting that some of you could have this like bit of an alter ego that you haven't yet uncovered especially when it comes to career and finances And for some, it's like there's a risk that you're going to be called upon to take, especially in terms of what you do for work or how you make money. And you're going to be really scared to do it. But when you take that risk, it unearths this whole new version of you. I'm getting like shapeshifter energy. Some of you could be lucid dreamers or just real powerful. You're just sleeping on your power, your strength, your magnetism. But you need to take more risks. That's how you're going to unearth this further. You need to not be scared to seek out the unknown. It's like this group always falls at... Uh, how do they... What do you say? Always lands on their feet. Mm -hmm. Chariot. Something could happen around July for you. You embody this amazing amount of ancient wisdom. Yeah, even this. I'm hearing Tree of Knowledge real strong feminine and masculine it's like you can literally click your fingers and step into one or the other like you are the embodiment of power of magnitude you get so fearful of change or the unknown that sometimes you procrastinate so much and i feel like you work yourself to the bone and i'm hearing that um mantra of like work smart but oh i can't speak today work smart not hard like be careful of running yourself into the ground of the nine of swords here some of you could suffer with anxiety i'm also hearing bpd and i feel like there's been uh, obviously i have to say this lightly but there could have been like a misdiagnosis and actually it's that you're very sensitive and very psychic yeah, Wheel of Fortune, you're sleeping on the power that you have to make money. And all of your gifts. There's decisions coming up that are going to be very important for your life going forward. And I'm getting like pearls of wisdom. Again, lots of Venus energy. Yeah. There's going to be some very unexpected changes that just bring in this fire and this passion and this warrior energy. That's just going to be so potent. Like your your magic is so potent. And it's time to wake up to it. Yeah. Some of you have some big plans in motion that aren't yet ready to be revealed. And that's okay. That's okay, you don't have to tell everyone everything. Queen of uh, Coins here, at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you are very aware of who you are. And you know that things will always work out for you. But you also know that you need to break these confines that you find yourself in of this fear of change. And you need to embody more of this power. 
because it's there it's just desperate to come out and I feel like the first step is just by literally diving in at the deep end yeah real powerful that was an amazing pile We've got Scorpio and Leo, but I was also picking up on Libra. I want to say Sagittarius and Capricorn as well. Pisces also. We've got BDF, J R W A E L J again Q I U V B M U J B O T Y D M Z. Yeah, I was picking up on like Native American or like shamanism, healers, light workers. But see, when I said to you about good luck and fortune, you've got the four leaf clover and a ladybird, both really good signs of good luck, fortune, prosperity. Like obsidian, you are protected. You're protected from, not from, you know, difficult occurrences or challenges happen to all of us but i feel like you have this divine guidance divine protection we've got mermaid energy like i said right in the beginning god goddess mythological energy it's like you're a real old soul people can get quite uh, stuck on you or attached to you and that could be something else that you're trying to navigate And I'm also hearing that saying, like, what, I can't think of how what it is, but it's like someone is a, a big, tall drink of water or something like that. I don't know what this is, but this is what Spirit is saying to me. Like, and I feel like this relates to your attractiveness. Like, someone, people just want to eat you up, or like, people just crave you. It's like, I'm hearing sweet tooth. So some of you could have a sweet tooth, but I feel like this is more towards people wanting you and yearning for you. But yeah, lots of green energy, so again, real strong powers of manifestation. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Hi, pile three. So for those of you who chose bloodstone, let's see what's coming up for you. I'm picking up on Aries energy, Cancer energy, also Virgo. I keep seeing the stone aquamarine. Someone's name could be like Marina or I'm getting an M name, Mal Malaya. Someone could have origins in Somalia as well. Obviously not everyone, but if it's for you, you'll know. I'm hearing you can't fit a round peg into a square hole or whatever the saying is, square peg into a round hole. Like you're sleeping on your uniqueness, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. mm. you're not made to fit in I've got Sagittarius here as well there's something about your forward path that you've been sleeping on and I feel like there's an imbalance here surrounding grounding energies um, I'm getting red jasper coming through honey calcite you may be sleeping on the power of who you are and your authenticity and who you show to the rest of the world. I feel like this is a group that sort of just get on with things in silence. You may be, may be sleeping on your ability to cultivate more fun and more enjoyment. We've got the lover, great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation of someone or something. We have the artist expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. And we have the dilettante, delights in the arts without having to be a professional, alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits. This is a real nice group. This is passion and I feel like there's not an outlet for your passion at the moment and this is a power that is asking to be unleashed. 
loads of masculine energy, sacral, solar plexus, root chakra. I feel like the world hasn't had a chance to see you for who you are, or maybe you just keep this private for a lot of people, and spirit is asking you to bring out more of this. Because it's really amazing energy. This, I'm getting like a lot of leadership as well. Hyper, hyper strong and independent. Some of you could have real lovely thick hair. I'm getting strong nails. Like there's just this abundant, healthy energy. Some of you could also be into writing poetry. Very influential seven of swords see everything you do is kind of in secrecy i'm getting scorpio moon you've got so much knowledge i'm hearing a wealth of knowledge yeah wow the justice card libra energy but i don't feel like this is libra sun it feels like libra mercury or the way that you the way that you communicate you have a tendency to push people away okay um, and I feel like spirit is actually saying to you, don't be so quick to make judgments. Because deep down, you're a real loving and affectionate person. And I feel like you kind of, you may have been compelled to choose pile one. Because this feels like a slightly more mature energy of pile one. And it's like you've overcome a lot. You may have been hurt a lot, but you don't allow your pain or your suffering to make you bitter. But you have allowed it to kind of isolate you. And I feel like this is what we're being called upon to reflect on. Strong Aries energy. Some of you seem to be creating... A whole new identity or a whole new sense of self and this could be what the world has not yet viewed you as like people could have quite outdated beliefs especially if they've known you in the past especially if you've had like a spiritual awakening or ascension so like people need to see you in a different light because this is a power that you've always been hiding. And I'm getting for some of you, there's been this strength ever, ever since you were a child. Like maybe you were perceived to be very bossy or like very outspoken as a child. And for some reason it's been told to you as if this is a bad thing. When actually it's not at all. Like you have the power of assertion and you know how to apply yourself and you know how to be diligent. That's something that should be celebrated, not um, suppressed. Like, some of you have this real rebellious streak, and for some reason it's been pushed down, or, like, you've been made to feel bad about this. And if this is actually something that needs to come out, like, you are a lover. It's like, you know how people say, are you a lover or a fighter? Like, you're both. <laughs> you're both. And you recognise the importance of having light and shadow. Some of you could have an affinity to birds. I'm hearing a lot of like birds chirping. And again, it's like even though you feel... Some of you, there's something about wasting time and this is something that you need to get rid of. You may feel like life is running away from you or that you're running out of time to cultivate things that you want. Don't let this box you in. <clears throat> yeah, there's a disappointment. <coughs> some of you have some fears surrounding like the way that... Again, not for everyone, but there could be fears surrounding the way that you are ageing or feeling like you're getting old when it comes to having kids or getting married or starting a new job. Like, time does not exist. This is a lie that you're telling yourself. The power that you are sleeping on is your passion and your love of life and that fruitful, abundant energy. Like, I feel... I can taste strawberries and like this ripeness of like you are ready to come into your season you are ready to have the greatness that you deserve and that you desire some of you could have lived a lot of your life for other people and that's now starting to show and maybe you're having a bit of a wake-up call and it's causing some anxiety 
but what are you going to do about it? Are you going to sit at home and cry about it? Or are you going to put yourself out there and get moving? Yeah, wow. We've got the Devil. We've got the Death card. Strong Capricorn, strong Scorpio, strong Aries. Like, people come to you for your advice, for your guidance. But do you take your own? You tell other people to go for things, to take a chance, to take a risk. But when it comes to matters of your heart and what's up for grabs for you, you block it out. You need to let that passion flow through you, Queen of Pentacles. Because you know this is what you deserve. You know that you're going to get your happy ending. Or this is what you're blocking yourself from. There seems to be something that's missing right now. And I feel as soon as you commit to yourself and just let yourself be free and really be in your power, there's so much transformation. Stop holding yourself back. Especially if any of you are thinking about children or love or starting a family, starting a new business. Like, it's right there. It's up for the grabs. You've got to find that inner self-belief and you need to see yourself in the way that other people see you, okay? Lots of signs, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's so many. Okay. We've got Y-N-W-M-H-N-E-G-L-V-O-G. W, V, P, S, M, Z, D, lots of H, lots of T's, P, Ch, P, Ch, <laughs> P, J, X, F, D, S, K, M, we've got loads of doubles here so bear with me, S, O, Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces, Aries, Cancer, Leo, Cancer again, Capricorn, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer. Yeah, loads of Sag, loads of Scorpio, Gemini energy, Leo energy. Not a lot of air here. We've got Virgo, which I also was picking up on earlier. If someone's thinking about reaching out to someone, I feel like you should just go ahead and say hi. Like, I'm just getting high. Nothing else, just hi. M-U, Cancer again. K-V-A-R, I-F. Yeah, I think these are all doubles now. C-D-Q, I-T-P-G, W-K. J again, sorry, that was a crazy amount. <laughs> See, you're a lover. Rose Quartz. You are the embodiment of love. You need to let it flow. Stop being frosty. Stop being cold. Some of you could have a birthday, especially Capricorn, around November, December, January. I'm getting, like, cold months. And even with this, like, little orange juice, it's, like, that same, that same colour, that same sacral energy. Like, you bring so much joy into other people's lives. People see you as, like... This little mermaid, this li the little mermaid could actually mean something to someone, but it's like a miracle worker. That like you make miracles happen, so why aren't you doing it for your own life? Get yourself out there. Don't be afraid of things that are to come or that things that are changing. Okay? This group is kind of an accumulation of one and two, so you may find that you resonate with other piles. It just feels a little bit softer. But hiding behind a hard facade but yeah that's what i have for you part three okay guys so that's what i have for you for this week's reading i hope you enjoyed and if you'd like to follow me on any of my socials or book a personal reading you can find it down below have a lovely weekend bye